a, a better way to assess that question. I know. I see a body next to me. I'm like, I think that's Eddie. <laughs> so how do we feel about Victor's uh, Dragon Shield mint sleeves here? I'm a big fan. Some people say they look be. like toothpaste, which they do. They but do. I they think are toothpaste. I think they look like like sexy aquamarine, you know? I, I'm if if I it was like a darker, like a darker version. A little bit darker? A little darker. So I'm using these in blue-green infect right now. I know, and I kicked your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did. <laughs> these are the perfect color of sleeve for a blue-green infect deck. Let me tell you. Uh, I would agree with that. Like, they just they just match all the... They j like, it just it just looks nice. It's okay. I actually also like orange for blue-green infect, but... O That's orange? Neither here of nor all there. colors are orange? Well, I think most of the time it's best not to have your sleeves match any base color in your deck because it's never going to match perfectly. How does mint That's why I'm, match? I'm, that's what I'm about to say. That mint seems to be the one exception, but like I hate when players have like red sleeves for their burn deck. Oh, my God. Because like, the red sleeves never actually match the burn deck, you know? Um, what do you mean? Like that, the whatever red you have on your sleeves is not going to be the same shades of red found on hardly any of your cards, right? Well, no, but it's the concept of hey, I'm playing bird, <laughs> yeah, and I want you to know before we even yeah, draw our hands. It does also <laughs> telegraph, what you're, especially when you have the Goblin Guide playmat. Oh, Mardu humans. Oh, Joey is not on burn. So this list is lying to us. Well, it could be that he's on like Mardu human burn. Like if he's playing Dark Confidant and um, stop. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm being serious. If he's got, if his I'm only seeing Soul Sisters. Okay, never mind. Because <laughs> I have seen people play like Harsh Mentor and Dark Confidant. Yeah. In like a just basically what is a burn deck? Um, oh and, like, no! And Young Pyro. Norn Sisters. No. Oh jeez, it isn't. No, be. no, it is. No. It's Mardu Norin. Oh jeez. Oh, Folks, I don't know if I can stomach this one. Hey, you said this would be a great matchup. Oh, hey, we got our friend, my Dixie wrecked. Don't know if that has to do with the Dixie chicks, but uh, I bet it is. So he's saying that you can. Yeah, he's saying that you can sandbag some of your cards, get up to six. I don't think that works. I mean, it might it might work. This is what I've heard about though: is you you sandbag your six, you know, you sandbag six burn spells in hand until you get six lands, and then you try to drop multiple burn spells in one turn. The problem with that is you get torn up by Liliana of the Veil. Yeah. You get torn up by Hand Disruption, sure. and your opponent can then have enough mana to, like, Stubborn Denial, Snap, Stubborn Denial. But maybe that does work. I don't know. I don't know. I won't bring myself down to play burn. <coughs> you should have heard my other comments. Mike Bel Mike Belfato is in the chat. Mike, are you saying that you can't play um, double face cards with with these mint sleeves? Are they are they translucent? I I thought these these mint sleeves were actually pretty opaque. I think like the the mint matte sleeves. I mean, who doesn't play with shadow perfect fits anyway? Uh, smokes, you mean? What I say? Shadow. <laughs> what the hell's the difference? Well, they're both um, dark. One of them is a deck, and hey. The other is a is a vaping hey, Mark. byproduct. Mark. Vape nation. <laughs> vape nation. Vape nation. <laughs> okay, so we got some lands out. We got a hot a free bit. Not a hot a free blade. Why do I always say that? We got a kite sale freebooter. Are you guys leaving? Looking at the uh, the hand here. Sorry, Mark. I had friends. Here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I consider you guys a friend. What do you think Joey takes with this kite sale freebooter? Okay, command two shadows, and what are the two cards? Snapcasters. Those are um, soccer player snapcasters. We're like a. Oh, wait, no. He. <laughs> All right, so we oh, already turned behind. He already took the out. Oh, he took the out. I see. Thanks, Spotter. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Uh, our conversation is <laughs> too intense. I'm telling you, that blue op just blended right into the Top Deck logo. I, that was. <laughs> Dude. See, so, yeah, so Victor has a card in his hand that is face down that he drew since being free blade. He's just. Choosing to have his his hand remain. What a nice guy. How do you feel about that? If somebody thought sees you, do you keep your hand open? I never do. I literally never do. And if someone asks me to in competitive play, um, after I've after they've chosen a card, I tell them that's not what thought sees says. Thought sees says look at player's hand. It doesn't. My hand my hand doesn't become revealed if you didn't write it down. In competitive play, I do not let my opponent 
look at cards, and I will not set it down for them. Um, what it's kind of a scummy thing to do. but e Even if they're like, all right, and then you go to pick them up after the card, and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa I want to write the cards down. Well, technically, if, if they chose their card, they don't get to keep looking at your hand. Oh, so they have to write the cards down, then pick. Yes. By by legality. Yes. If they okay. if they chose the card, you pick up your hand. <laughs> okay. And and you have you're under no obligation to put your hand back down. I agree. Um That's why when everybody anybody thought seizes me or Inquisitions, I'm like <laughs> my cards. Yeah, but so no, but notably, um when it comes to streaming, I don't like when players leave their hands open when they're streaming because it confuses the, the board state. It it's not it's not readily. No, it doesn't. Well, it if you're confused by this, we need to talk. Put your glasses back on. It can certainly. <laughs> Victor is very neat about his board state. Not no, all, and I appreciate. Not all that. players are. I appreciate that. And most that. most players, if they leave their hand revealed on a camera match, yeah, it can really distort the board state. I agree. Um, there are some messy players out there. Joey has Boros charm. That's interesting in this in this list. Man, Joey's deck is spicy, and I like it. Boros charm is burn damage, but can also protect your humans from being destroyed by giving them indestructible. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Does is he, he do it? Does is he, he going to fire it off? Does he do it? Do it. Is that a is that a promo dismember from Victor? Uh, it's a promo something. All right, so I got a question for you. Back to the whole push and bolt thing. Sure. What if push gets banned? How that do you think the meta would change? Well, that will never happen. Uh, I'm not saying if it does or will. I'm giving you a hypothetical okay. this happens. Okay. How do you think the meta would change? Will we see less, uh, less Tron? Because if we do, I'm all for it. If push were banned... Okay, how about this? Because I, I started playing right when push was released. Okay. How was the meta before that? Well, let's see. Push is from Aether Revolt. Correct. It's l just now hitting a year old. Um, I think the meta then was still infatuated with random Renegade Rally or Company decks. <laughs> so, but you mean like before then, like long term before then? Uh, I mean. Whatever. When did you think was the best for the meta? For modern? Well, yeah, the only. I think it's. Real. I think it's. I think it's sweet right now. Um, I don't with all the Tron. But hey, that's just me. I'm an ass. <laughs> I don't think there's Tron is certainly good and prevalent, but <laughs> I don't even think this is the most Tron that there's ever been. Really? Uh, no. Wasn't there a whole bunch of Tron <laughs> during Eldrazi Winter? Because Eldrazi Winter was one do of the ways you, you know. Do you remember what I just said? Mm hmm. That I've only been playing a year? Tr okay. <laughs> so how long ago was Eldrazi Winter? Man, time really flies. Yes, it does. Yeah, Eldrazi Winter was this time when you could play Urborg and... Two years ago. Yeah. It, it was... You could play Urborg with uh, Eye of Ugin and... Uh, Eldrazi Temple on the same deck, and it was gross. You'd play Eldrazi Mimic. Eldrazi Mimic was basically the best card in modern. <laughs> um, Eldrazi Mimic. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a sick time. Anyway, um, oh, like what, remember what I said? Joey, he's basically. I think he's playing a deck basically like what I said. He's playing. What he's did playing, you say? I I said he's playing Dark Confidant Burn. Okay. And that's basically what he's playing. Sure. He's playing Dark Confidant Boros Charm Colgan's command. He's like, I need all the burn spells. Now, yeah, I don't care if you see them because they're just coming coming straight to your face, right? Yeah, but we did see. Was that a soul sister we saw, or was that a Brenton Forge tender? No, no, no. There were soul sisters. Both, that's really both the soul sisters. That's really weird to me. Well, I mean, he does have a Norn. Oh, that's right. So that's right. We did see. So the Norn. is this? Man, I feel like that's a lot of tech trying to be shoved into one deck. Guys, I, I don't understand. The list that Joey's playing, but he's at table. He's at the top table, so <laughs> he's been winning, I guess. Um, uh, I thought he was at 
table. No, well, I think it's table. table one. I think it's table two, but e either way, he's got a perfect record. I mean, deal two make you discard. I think if for Joey, you discard the Boros charm here. Mm, I disagree. Really? You think you discard the K command? Yes. I think you discard the Boros charm, and then if you want to, you can just get back. Get back what? Nothing's died. Get back the Bob. He's Victor's targeting the Bob with this uh, this K command. Mm -hmm. See, Soul Sister. Yeah, Where's that's the Soul. That's the Soul's attendant. You you know the band train? Yes, I know the band train. Good band. That's one of those songs that in the United States people know. They know the music and lyrics of against their will. You know. You kind of uh, can't escape Just that like song. Bohemian Rhapsody. You go to any bar. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that song either. But It's okay, and it's really okay when I'm drunk. It's, aggre it's aggressively No, average. Uptown Funk, no. Mm -hmm. that's, that, song no. Is, that song is bad. But we don't want to yes. stir up any passions about music because yes, that, that is a divisive yes, topic. We <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, I still need to send you a song. <laughs> What's oh yeah? <laughs> what, did I, what did I tell you to listen to? Uh, I sent Brent and I were exchanging some uh, some music pleasantries on on Facebook the other day, and I think I asked you to listen to uh, to something. So, Joey, did Joey opt to protect Dark Confidant with Boros Charm? Joey protected Dark Confidant with Boros Charm. So he still discarded. And then had to discard Coligan's Command. <laughs> what? That makes very little sense, except to the extent that he gets to untap for free with that Bob and get a card, but the card he revealed was a land. Um, Seems bad. So, yeah, if the card would have been like a K Command, that would have been you know, a neutral play. Oh, by the way, to answer your question, it's Memphis will be laid to waste. Oh, yeah. I told I told Brent to check out uh, Memphis will be laid to waste by Norma Jean. And I'm trying to find a good Hobson song. A you. Hobson song? Yeah, because you, you said you've never heard of Hobson. You That's like right. Tech 9. I think you'd really enjoy Hobson. That's right. Yeah, I remember, I remember that conversation. But anyway, in chat, yep. folks, I'm also encouraging you to check out Memphis will be laid to waste by Norma Jean. And I think you guys should check out Hobson. <laughs> Sure, I en I endorse that remark. You know, I also endorse. What's that? <laughs> Blink one eighty two. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so Victor is getting in with the Snapcaster. Um, See, I look at this. Joey should have kept the Boros bird, the Boros charm. Okay, Victor's at six. Yeah, but Victor has a handful of stubborn denial. Victor doesn't care about his life total anymore as it relates to burn spells because he knows he has these stubborns. He's got one stubborn. He's only got one card in hand, right? Is it just one stubborn? Either way, that's that's way more than enough to keep you <laughs> off of being scared about six life. Oh, that's a Boros. Oh, wait. No, he does have more than one card. Uh, Bor uh, Gurmag, Stubborn, and Snap. Gurmag, Stubborn, Snap. I know it's Stubborn and Snap, but I don't know if that's a Gurmag. Yeah, so Victor actually has access to Stubborn and then Snap Stubborn <laughs> across two turns, which is pretty good given that Joey is trying to finish off his opponent with Boros Charm. Inquisition right now. Oh, uh, Inquisition, take the Stubborn? Yeah, dude. Yeah, but then if you charm him, you still just put him to two. And then I guess you have a live top decks. I, yeah. No, I think Joey's just dead here. Um, Cause as soon as Victor back to Victor's turn, he goes to swing. Norn automatically bounces. Right, so he only has one yeah. blocker, and the shadows are seven sevens. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Joey can't put down another blocker. <laughs> Joey's never heard of stubborn denial before. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so that's 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 hundred percent lethal, because yeah, there's no way. Yeah, because Joey has to block a shadow, then he still takes seven and two from Snapcaster and Shadow. So. See now, this this is magic where skill comes into play. Okay, none of this turn three Karn. <laughs> yeah, I don't disagree. I don't disagree, <laughs> but I, I I certainly don't think Tron is the worst. What's the worst thing about modern? Well, we taught first of all, it's the play and the draw, <laughs> but. I <laughs> think give the player on the draw 
the coin <laughs> from Hearthstone. <laughs> no, that'd be broken. <laughs> Everybody just starts with the Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. good, right? That's what the coin is, right? I think that would be uh, pretty broken, though. That'd be pretty funny. Turn one, uh, Goyf. Turn one, Goyf doesn't seem like the best <laughs> way to abuse that. <laughs> I'm not discreet. <laughs> Actually, depends if that goes to the graveyard, if the coin goes to the graveyard or not. Sure, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and if and if it's an artifact, <laughs> if it's an artifact, and you gotta go fetch. If the shock. coin is an artifact that goes to the graveyard, so basically you give everybody give everybody a lotus petal. That's all it really is, right? Yep. Give everybody a lotus petal if you're on the draw. <laughs> <laughs> that might that that actually makes turn one goif okay, but I'd rather do many other things. Because if you fetch, because if you fetch, right, you got land, and artifact. Yeah, if we were doing that, I would rather be playing four chalices in all my decks. <laughs> <laughs> so I could play a bunch of easy turn one chalices on the sure, draw. Sure, absolutely. And then sp and then spell snare would uh would make its way into the meta because you would, everyone would Spell snare is in the meta. Do you see see how many two drops there are? Spell snare is played a little bit in Jeskai mid range. It's played nowhere uh, almost anywhere else. I think it needs to come back. I think it's a really good card. It is a really good card. It's just it doesn't happen to be good against. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen to be good against like you know Thought Not Seer Tron decks. Oh, oh, Tron's not a problem. Hmm? Well, I don't think the inclusion of Spell Snare in the meta is like <laughs> unnecessary. You know thing what I think we should do? To be good. I, I brought this up to Scott, right? Our local judge, the uh, judge for yeah, resident judge Scott. <sighs> I talked to him. I said, "How about we do this? We have two two." Um, Things of modern going, right? We got people who play modern and then people who play Tron. The people who play Tron can go all fight each other, right? Just pair those up against each other, while the other people who want to play <laughs> real magic can actually enjoy themselves and not just be like, all right, am I dead yet? I don't think Tron's... Uh, I, I <laughs> definitely understand the sentiment. It would be really funny if you made those two brackets... And then you had the best Tron player win the Tron bracket every time, and then you made the best player play against Tron in the finals, and then you just got the. I would be kicked. okay with that, <laughs> just like how in the um, the NFL, like the AMC or the the two sides. <laughs> the uh, the a with the AFC and the NFC. Or yeah, yeah, see that you get the two best in the Super Bowl. Hey, there we go. <laughs> right. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Right. The Hunger Games Tron Edition. Uh. All right, folks, we got some sideboarding going on here. Victor is taking a look at his mint cards. I don't think Victor quite knows what Joey's up to. I mean, he knows the cards that are in there. He just maybe doesn't understand the Norin. I wonder if Victor knows there are soul but I don't think it matters. Um, I, I think it would matter. I think what might matter is if Victor can sense how many creatures Joey is playing. But Victor has no clue. Well, he, has, he knows that his opponent's playing Norin. He knows right. his opponent's playing Confidant, and what, what else did we see? The two different Soul Sisters. Yeah, but what else did Victor see? Oh, Victor, Inquisition. Not, n I don't really think he saw any more. Yeah, he didn't see any more um, yeah, he, creatures. Yeah, he just saw Bob he and Noren. He just Norin. saw Bob and Noren. I feel like seeing Bob and Noren, though, like, y here's the question for Victor. Victor has one Flaying Tendrils and one sure. Kozlik's oh. Return. Yep. The question is, do you bring those in? Seeing what I saw from Joey, I, w I wouldn't do it as Victor. Um, I wouldn't do it, but it might be the right thing to do. I would say I I would. You'd bring you'd bring in the Kozilek because here's the thing: you only the only deck you've ever seen Norin in is a Soul Sisters deck. Yeah, there's no other reason to bring him in, right? Yeah. Also, I guess it's it's interesting. Victor did see his opponent aggressively use Boros Charm to give Indestructible. Which makes Kozlek's return seem less good if that's the reason Boros Charm is in the deck, but it does make Flaying Tendrils seem good because Flaying Tendrils gets through that indestructible mode. Right. And we actually saw that interaction come up when Victor tried to dismember uh, a creature and Joey sat there and looked at his Boros Charm. He's like, oh, shoot, that doesn't work. Right. But um, I think Joey might be playing. We might not know this for sure yet, but I think Joey, if you're playing Boros Charm, usually the best way to play that in a Mardu deck is to play it with um, Soulfire Grandmaster because with six mana and Soulfire Grandmaster, you can 
recur Boros Charm unlimitedly with its ability and continually protect the Soul Fire as need be right. with the indestructible mode, mm -hmm. or just continue to fire it off as four damage and then you gain four life. Yeah, that'd do you be think? Sweet. Do you think we we're looking at a Soul Fire Grandmaster deck? And if so, do we think Victor sniffs that out? Um. I don't think Victor sniffs it out. I don't think anyone sniffed it out because, I mean, Joey is undefeated right now, right? If, if I – well, yeah, <laughs> that is true. Um, if I were playing against Joey, maybe I'm saying this with the benefit of, you know, the information of commentating here, but I would sniff out the Grand, the Soulfire Grandmaster, and I would probably bring in Wipes. Um, because I'm a bad Magic player, I would sniff out Jack Shit. Which is fine, um, you know. Sometimes all you sniff is shit, and and that's all some people. That's all some dogs oh, ever do. That's you know? right. They did also see kite scale. What'd you say? Oh yeah, we saw kite scale. Oh yeah, I definitely want the. I want the flying tendrils yeah. in the. Uh, oh, for sure. Now. Yeah. Wh what were you saying? Can't remember. Something about okay. dogs and. I like sniff dogs. Sniffing jack shit. I like dogs. Do you like dogs? Are you a cat? You're a cat person, aren't you? D oh no. Mark. Uh oh. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> I'm actually not much of a pet. I've never owned a pet, really. Okay. But. But, um. But dog or cat? There's but a, dog or th cat. There is a correct. You know, I've answer. met a lot of cats that I like, and I've met a lot of dogs that I like. There's, there's only been one cat that I've liked. She was mine. <laughs> I called her. I called <laughs> her Snowball. Uh, actually. Uh, I was really young at the time, so uh, during the winter, I would change her, sn her name to Snowball because of how furry oh. she got. She was she was an outside so, cat. Sort of like the Tron lands that changed with the season. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but her name was Snuggles. Okay, Snuggles. Kay. That's kind of like Snowball. It is, but during winter, it, I did change it to Snowball because of how puffy she so got. So really, so what you did is you had you had a name tag that said S N. And then there's a changeable part, a, a, <laughs> yeah. de a detachable the, like part. Like a dry that erase says, part. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. Says, that says Uggles. Yeah. <laughs> and one that says O-Ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. switch them out. But anyway, she was a Calico, right? She was the best cat in the world, and she had a brown heart on her forehead. Okay. Well, I do like Calico cats, and I like everything you just said. Did you know that you could actually call your cat, who is both Snuggles and Snowball, S with the nameplate design? Well, I was going to say you could call it SN as an abbreviation for Senior. It could be Senior Uggles and Senior Obal. She's not Mexican. And well, it's a she. Not, <laughs> not, not Senor, that you could do Senor as <laughs> senor. well. Senor. But, but Senior, <laughs> like as in Junior. Right. You know what, never mind. I give up. Right? <laughs> All right, so let's watch some magic. Um, I've been watching. I've just been talking about my cat. Oh, S yeah, SR is the abbreviation for the shortening for Senior. So never mind. I am dumb and I should feel dumb. Um, I hope you do. I d I Mark, do I'm sorry. That was rude of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Victor is going to 17. Inquisition versus Thoughtseize. Ooh, there's a deflecting palm, and there's a Sisters. Two of them, yeah. So let me say that Sisters seem terrible in the Shadow matchup. Like, they seem like worth... Like, the, the thing about Soul Sisters in general is those specific cards have almost no value on their own. Well, yeah. They are they are highly synergistic cards. That's why there's Norn in there. Yes, but in the Gr in the Grixis Death Shadow matchup, you have to fight pound for pound against basically some of the best cards in the format. And when you get these things picked off one of the time, I mean they just do they they add literal no value. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, no, they're 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 just a chump. Block. I mean, Vic Victor's looking at this hand and saying, "I'm not even sure how I lose this game. These I two sisters are worthless." What would you take? I know what I would take. I probably would have taken the palm, but I think Victor might be overvaluing. I mean, he, it could be that Victor doesn't have creature removal in hand. Well, the other thing too is he did see the Norin. He did see the Norin, <laughs> um, but I I'm not. I'm not sure how much you care about that when you have Death Shadows and Team or Battle Rage. I, yeah, but, but maybe I mean you're right. Battle Rage. I think. At that point, I would have taken the palm. I would have taken the palm for but sure. But I think that might just telegraph that Victor doesn't have other spot removal in hand. Um, which we know he doesn't because he's got his, he's got two delve threats and, and an island is showing. That's, is that his whole hand? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Because Joey got rid of the stubborn, I believe that is, or the promo snap, I can't remember. Yeah, stubborn. So next turn, 
if he top decks a thought scour. He can get a threat out. Yeah. All right, want to take a bet? If it, the top card's thought scouring up. It's not thought scour. No. <laughs> it's not thought scour. <laughs> he would have jammed that mother that thing down. Okay, another thought sees. <laughs> Seems good. So, do you think Victor will take this new Soul Sister, or will he take the Deflecting Palm? Well, he saw the Soul Sister before. No, this is yeah. Oh this yeah, is a, yeah, This yeah. is a third one. Oh, geez. I don't think you take it. I, I'm, if I'm Victor, Dude, I'm not worried no, about these you're things. You're taking the Palm and the. So first one should have been Palm. This one should have been Charm. <sighs> Another Soul Sister. <laughs> Dear Lord. It's just these things. Mark, why'd you put this game up? These sisters just don't do anything. They even with a Norin, all you're talking about is life gain. This deck doesn't, as, as far as we know, have a way to abuse. Yeah, you know, it's not like he has Perforos that we've seen. It's not like he has uh, what's that card? What's the two mana artifact that that uh, generates guys with? Oh, generates uh, mirror, mirror factory. It's it's not called Genes that. Gen Genesis, Genesis Chamber. Cham yeah, Genesis yeah. Chamber. Right. It's not like he has Genesis Chamber. Is you know like Joey's only game plan seems to be to play Norin plus eight Soul Sisters plus a bunch of burn spells and some humans that are powerful. Yeah, but that's, that's not enough synergy to make these these Soul Sisters scary at all. I just I don't get it. For sure. Could get a copy of Zach Creamer's Affinity Build. Uh, I don't know if it's on Top Deck Productions. I can check real quick. Yeah, if, if Zach hasn't relinquished that list to Top Deck, if it's not on the website, um, we don't have I it. I know his we, burn list We is can't up there. get it to you. Is his burn list up I there? I know his burn list is up there. No, it's only his burn. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's on Affinity now. Yeah, it's only his burn. Yeah, Zach has just recently come back to Affinity. Um, I think he's... I know a little bit about the deck he's playing. He's playing four main board Master of Ethereum. Um, and he's not playing any black cards in the sideboard. He's not playing Thoughtseize or anything. Um, <laughs> that's all the all the specifics I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do these one mana one ones do against Tassiker? Even if you had the Norin here, it would only be gaining you some life. If you don't have yeah, Perforos... Yeah, you're, you're still slowly yeah, if, losing. If you don't have Perforos, if you don't have Mentor of the Meek, if you don't have Genesis Chamber, if you don't have the real payoffs... But at that point with... Uh, oh, what's his name? The God... Perforos. Perforos. But uh, d Joey doesn't have Perforos. No, you're right, but if Perforos was a thing, I think I'd be scared to play him. If you were Victor, you'd be scared of the Perforos? No, no, no. If I was Joey, I'd be scared of playing Perforos because those shadows would be huge. Uh, sure. But, I mean, I guess that is a some kind of a clock. I, 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 well, I don't know. It gives you inevitability. Right. Perforos gives you inevitability against shadow sure. if you can actually produce you know, enough top deck creatures. Right. Well, the other thing, well, okay. But that's only the case if, you know, that <laughs> really only works when you have things like Genesis Chamber and Ranger of Aeos and yeah. stuff like that. So, Victor's just going to clean this game up. I don't see anything that Joey can... What is that? <sighs> that might be Gather the Townsfolk. <laughs> I think that might be Gather the Townsfolk. <laughs> Can someone tell me what that is? Is that Rally the Peasants or gather, gather the Townsfolk? Let me just go yell out real quick. Hey, Joey! <laughs> Maybe that's a champion of the parish? I don't think so, though. Um, uh, is there a way to contact him? Oh, it is a champion of the parish. Okay. Not that I know of. So even champion is not a not a severe enough payoff for all these soul sisters and Norans because it, they still just get pushed and they're never going to be bigger than Tasigers and Anglers, you know, with against an opponent who's got, you know, removal for days. You hold my beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Oh man, are you a drinker? <laughs> uh, I, I do, but we shouldn't. We shouldn't talk. This is a PG thirteen stream. We are we are very open and accepting of of people of all lifestyles, how ages, and asking, attitudes. How is asking that not a PG thirteen? <laughs> I don't know. I I do I do drink. How, yeah. Am I am I offending you? No no no. Do you have like <laughs> alcoholic problems? No, do I we don't. Need to talk. <laughs> like? All right, all right. I'll I'll hit up AA tomorrow for you. <laughs> for those following along at home, that stands for Alcoholics Anonymous. You would know that. <laughs> <laughs> AA is for quitters. <laughs> um, uh, not sure. So Victor flashes in Snapcaster for no value. Oh. Um, oh no! How much mana does Joey have? One, one land open. Oh, Ooh. he's very close. Victor needed to fire off that Inquisition beforehand, right? Because he can. He's <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Joey doesn't have enough land mana open. Oh, he doesn't have mana. Oh, yeah. he doesn't have mana for right. Because uh, Victor knows about deflecting bomb. Yeah, he knows. He only left up one. Bomb. He's gonna just die to the battle rage. All right, I like it. Oh, never what? mind. He blocked. What is this? He decided to block the Snapcaster. What are those? Oh my god. What do you take? What do you take here? <laughs> yeah, there you, you take the palm, yeah. Finally. Finally take the palm. And I will pass as Victor. This is actually Wait, what's the last card in Victor's hand besides Angler? That's a good question. Oh, so <laughs> Joey can swing. Joey can deal seven damage, right? Is that right with his charm and his three-three champion? <laughs> so <laughs> was Victor uh, actually dead there to like a top deck creature? I don't know what the last card in Victor's hand is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. But no, he just drew. Joey just drew. He drew inspiring vantage. Yeah. But he doesn't have him dead. He he can put sure. him to one. Sure, but what do you do here? Just pass the turn. If you're Joey, I wonder if it's right to just leave back champion and, I don't know, give it double strike. To, I don't even know. I think you just try to put him to one here. But then you lose on the swing back to team or battle. Oh, that's right. Victor's last card is team or battle rage. That's so there's right. The only way Joey can win, or not, I guess I should say not lose, is by leaving back champion of the parish to block and make it indestructible. Yeah, but well, even no, even with team or battle rage, it's fine. Let's see. Ta Tasker swings for eight. Yeah. With with double strike, so has he three toughness. So you could put Joey to one. Yeah, put Joey to one. This is uh, this is a silly game. But this is how magic should be. Silly. Sure. Decks. I wish Joey would have drawn a real card for turn instead of inspiring vantage, because that could have made things like really interesting. You know, let's let's talk about this real quick. If if he had that in, uh, that land last turn, he would have been able to deflecting palm. Yeah, deflecting palm. A tass very and, yeah, the light totals would have been what like ten and four. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah, pretty pretty much. It's actually really surprised. Victor was probably really surprised that Joey chump locked with Thalia's lieutenant because Joey not having hand information about the battle rage. V Victor was swinging for lethal there for two. You know, two with a Snapcaster and then eight with Tassiger. For sure. When Joey was at 10. But Joey just kind of randomly blocked the Snap. That's why Victor made the aggressive play to flash in Snapcaster, just because yeah. it was lethal. And he he had no reason to believe Joey would block that, that Snap with Dahlia's, but he did. And now, S oh. is that Thoughtscour? So Thoughtscour yeah, was really good here. But it doesn't matter. Joey just left his... Victor's got the teamer. There's no reason not to yeah. just swing in. Well, and yeah, do but you it. definitely thought scour first. Oh no, just go for it. Well, you have to put if you're Victor, you don't know what that unknown card is. Doesn't matter. So you, what you have to do Make is have it. no. What you have to do is you have to thought scour first, and then see if you can draw into a terminate. What's if you do, what's the terminate gonna do? Well, that in case Joey's missing card is a deflecting palm, then you can swing in safely and just possibly terminate your tasker instead of taking that four damage. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? No. But it's not. It's it's an inspiring advantage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, make him have it. Yeah, that's that's what you do. He's just like. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely correct to fire off the thought scarer first, like Victor did. Oh you sh man. You want to have full information? If Victor was at four life instead. Well, yeah, he, he gets double strike. <laughs> All right, Joey gives Joey gives the tasker double double strike I don't for the win. I don't think that does anything else. Nope, not that we know of. So, um, interesting. An interesting match. I don't understand Joey's. D I understand what it is. It looks a lot like a Mardu mentor style deck, yep. but it doesn't appear that he has mentor or pyro. In those slots instead, he has eight Soul Sisters and Norin. And I can't quite figure that out. I mean, I guess it just gives him another train to go off of. Help stall out the game if he's not getting the cards that he wants. It's just those cards don't help stall out the game like nearly as well as... As, they sh as, he's, as he's probably wanting. Like, if there were Perforos in this deck, I would totally get it. Yeah. You know, or if there were, like... If there was Genesis Chamber or... If, if, even if there was Ranger of Aeos, we didn't see any of that stuff. Yeah, it was... Like, with Sisters, you kind of have to go, like... You kind of have to go for it. You know, you, you don't... The marginal value you get out of each additional crappy card you add... Yeah. It, it, it balloons. The cards get way better as a whole. Right. Um, but if you if you don't go for it, the cards are not very good on their own. And, and Soul Sister plus Norin by themselves is really not a sick combo. It's just kind of a meh combo. It's like, eh, it's cute. Yeah. But, um, meh. I guess he had, so he had Champion. What what are all the pieces? He had Champion of Parish. Yeah. Thalia's Lieutenant. The eight Soul Sisters. Yeah, eight. And Norin. As far as we know, eight Soul Sisters. Yeah. I don't know why he wouldn't have eight. Yeah. And was that, was that it? No, he had the, um. We had Dark Confidence. And the Pirate. The look at your hand. Oh, how to or yeah, uh, Kite Sail Freebooter. Yeah. It's weird. I wonder if Joey's maybe playing more creatures than we think he is. It's just that the those draws were super weird. Or he's not playing four ofs of a lot of those cards, right? Because we saw him like most of those games, his hands were full of Boros charms, K commands, that kind of thing. That's what made me think it was like a. A Soulfire Grandmaster or like Young Pyro Monastery Mentor style Mardu deck. Yeah. But we we, you know, if he's actually playing like twenty four creatures, right? If he's got all eight sisters, four Norins, you know, four confidants, four kite sails. If he actually has like twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight creatures, we didn't see any of them. He like drew the wrong half yeah, of his deck in every game. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I'd love to see what that list is. Not that I <laughs> want to play it, but just to see what just it is. Just to see what kind. What's yeah. the win con? Yeah, I'm kind of. Kind of baffled. Besides, by it. Boros Char. Apparently, it's working out real well for him, though. He's uh, he is not undefeated anymore. Well, not undefeated anymore, but Victor Kurz on Grixis Death Shadow is a formidable opponent. For sure. Well, folks, we will be back eventually. Vape Nation. About fif fifteen minutes. Vape Nation. Um, bro. Brent is gonna go vape. I'm gonna buy some cookies. Do you want to buy you some cookies? Yes, Brent, if you would buy me cookies, that would make my holidays. You could give you could give me the Christmas gift of a lifetime. I get a cookie though. Okay, you get one. All right, we'll be back in Two. about 15 minutes.